An official announcement from the Council of Ministers. There has been an accident at the Chernobyl Atomic Power Station. One of the atomic reactors was damaged. The consequences of the accident are being taken care of. In the shadowy corridors of history, few places evoke the same sense of dread and fascination as Chernobyl. Once a bustling hub, this town now stands frozen in time, a haunting reminder of mankind's most catastrophic errors. The fact that people are coming in here, touching things, taking things, it's kind of frightening. But amid the desolation and decay lies secrets so chilling, they transcend the boundaries of the ordinary. Join us as we uncover 20 of the scariest things ever found in Chernobyl. Number 20. Barn Swallows. In the aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, a remarkable phenomenon occurred within the local bird population, immediately capturing the attention of researchers. Barn swallows, known for their typically dark feathers, displayed a surprising change in color. These birds, lacking melanin, the paint responsible for the color of feathers, skin, and eyes, displayed lighter feathers than usual. This unexpected color change is believed to be linked to the impact of radiation on melanin production. Melanin plays a crucial role in shielding birds from harmful ultraviolet radiation. However, within the Chernobyl exclusion zone, Scientists observed a peculiar trend among barn swallows. Their decreased melanin levels, evident in their lighter feathers, coincided with higher levels of radiation in the environment. Through studies on these melanin-deficient barn swallows, researchers aimed to unravel the mechanisms behind this adaptation. Radiation exposure is known to inspire heritable change, and the lighter feathers of these birds suggest alterations in their DNA, influencing melanin synthesis. It is speculated that these genetic changes resulted the expression of lighter colored paint. These barn swallows serve as living indicators, shedding light on the relationship between wildlife and the radioactive Chernobyl environment. This phenomenon raises interesting questions about the potential long-term evolutionary effects of radiation on species within the Chernobyl zone. The implications are both fascinating and mysterious, prompting further exploration into the consequences of human-made disasters on the natural world. Number 19. The Black Bird of Chernobyl In the months leading up to the destructive events of April 26, 1986, a strange and mysterious phenomenon gripped the residents near the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. People reported encountering a deformed creature, a changed figure with huge wings and deep red eyes. This creature, later nicknamed the Black Bird of Chernobyl, haunted the area, appearing in nightmares and even in confrontations with some residents. Then came the devastating explosion of nuclear reactor 4 at midnight. The resulting fire and nuclear meltdown forced the evacuation of over 350,000 people. Amidst the chaos, several survivors claimed to witness a huge black bird with wings spanning 20 feet soaring through the sky. This story might sound familiar to some, resembling the legendary Mothman sightings in West Virginia just before the collapse of the Silver Bridge in 1968. The physical description of the creature is similar in both cases, and they were both reported to appear just before disasters. Interestingly, after each disaster, both the Blackbird of Chernobyl and the Mothman vanished without a trace. These threatening creatures seem to be a sign of disaster, materializing in the shadows before calamity strikes. Number 18. An Abandoned Carnival In the supernatural landscape of the abandoned amusement park lies a sad reminder of the tragic events that happened in Chernobyl. Once bustling with excitement and anticipation, the park, now known as the Pripyat Amusement Park, stands in a state of disrepair. Its grand opening, slated for May 1, 1986, coinciding with the celebrations of May Day, never came to reality. Just days before the scheduled opening on April 26, the Chernobyl disaster struck just a few kilometers away. The catastrophe cast a shadow over the park's preparations, halting the festivities before they could begin. However, some speculate that the park was hastily opened in the aftermath of the accident, perhaps as a distraction from the disaster. Evidence supporting this theory can be found in a chilling video that captures the incomplete state of the rides. For instance, the commando ride lacked canopies, and the Ferris wheels building remained unfinished. The attire worn by individuals in the footage suggests that it was filmed during winter, 
possibly during a test run of the park. Regardless of the exact circumstances, the amusement park, particularly its iconic Ferris wheel, has become a dark symbol of the Chernobyl accident. It stands as a silent witness to the devastating consequences of human error and the enduring legacy of tragedy. But amidst the rusted rides and crumbling structures, the park's strange atmosphere tells a story of its own, adding another layer of intrigue to the haunting story of Chernobyl. Number 17. Red Forest Experiment Scientists were curious to understand the impact of radiation on insects, microbes, and fungi responsible for breaking down dead plant matter in the area. It was noticed that the trees in the Red Forest, which died shortly after the Chernobyl incident, weren't decomposing as they normally would. Even after about 20 years had passed, fallen trees remained almost untouched, unlike what you'd expect to see in any other forest. So, a team of researchers led by Timothy Mousseau, a biologist at the University of South Carolina, Columbia, decided to conduct an experiment. They filled net bags with leaves from various trees in uncontaminated areas and scattered them across different parts of the forest surrounding Chernobyl, some in contaminated areas and some in non-contaminated areas. After a year, they returned to collect the bags and were shocked by what they found. Leaves left in the most radiated areas were practically untouched, while those left in uncontaminated areas had decomposed and turned into soil, thanks to the healthy microbes and fungi present. This discovery revealed that heavily irradiated areas aren't decomposing and regenerating at a normal rate. Additionally, the abundance of leaf litter on the forest floor poses a significant risk of forest fires, which could potentially spread radiation beyond the exclusion zone. Number 16. USSR Propaganda 50,000 people lived in Pripyat, a lively city nestled in the heart of Ukraine during the Soviet era. However, the existence of its residents was suddenly shattered when disaster struck. Within a mere 30 hours of the calamity, authorities ordered the evacuation of the entire populace, a move intended to spare them from the dangers of radiation. Yet, in the haste of departure, little did they know that their beloved city would soon become frozen in time. The evacuation was conducted with a sense of urgency, leaving behind homes and belongings in the hopes of returning shortly. Residents were assured that their absence would be brief, prompting them to pack only the essentials, identity papers, and a change of clothes. However, fate had a different plan in store for Pripyat and its inhabitants. While officials confidently projected a swift return, reality proved otherwise, as the desolation of the city endured for much longer far beyond the expectations of its former residents. What is truly remarkable about Pripyat's swift abandonment and subsequent desolation is its resemblance to a time captured from the Soviet era. An official announcement from the Council of Ministers. There has been an accident at the Chernobyl Atomic Power Station. One of the atomic reactors was damaged. The consequences of the accident are being taken care of. Number 15. Pripyat Hospital. Hospitals are already gloomy places, even when they're bustling with activity. But abandoned hospitals? They take it to a whole new level. Imagine an empty, desolate hospital, situated in the middle of a radioactive death zone. The walls are covered in chipped paint, the beds are rusted, and the building itself seems to be crumbling before your eyes. It's the kind of place that flows with atmosphere, but not the restful, comforting kind. No, this is the kind of atmosphere that sends fear down their backbone and makes them want to get out of there as fast as they can. It's wandering through those dark-lit hallways with the sound of footsteps echoing off the walls. Every creak and groan of the building only adds to the sense of dread that still hangs in the air. Number 14. Thriving Wildlife The area around Chernobyl is experiencing a remarkable resurgence of nature since the devastating nuclear disaster that struck 35 years ago. Following one of the deadliest nuclear tragedies in history, which forced the evacuation of 350,000 people, the region has been left to the wild. Ukrainian authorities estimate that it may be unlivable for humans for another 24,000 years. Despite this, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has become an unexpected haven for wildlife. In this unlikely nature reserve, species like the majestic Przewalski horses, once on the brink of disappearance, are now flourishing. Researchers have observed a remarkable diversity of animals thriving in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. 
From lynxes to bison, deer, and various other creatures, the area has become a home for wildlife. Covering an expansive 2,000 square kilometers in the northern part of Ukraine, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone has transformed into one of Europe's largest nature reserves. Number 13. Dogs of Chernobyl. A recent scientific inquiry conducted by researchers from the University of South Carolina and the National Human Genome Research Institute aimed to unravel the mysteries surrounding these transformed dogs. Imagine amidst the desolate landscape surrounding the Chernobyl power plant, a population of wild dogs roams freely. But what sets these dogs apart from their counterparts outside the exclusion zone? That's precisely what the scientists sought to uncover. In their study, the researchers carefully examined 302 of these wild dogs, looking into their genetic makeup and behavior. While the findings are still preliminary, they hint at something extraordinary. These dogs may be flourishing in the face of adversity. Imagine the aftermath of the catastrophic Chernobyl nuclear disaster. As humans evacuated the area, abandoning their homes and pets, these dogs were left to feed for themselves. Now, generations later, they've carved out a place for themselves in this unforgiving environment. Unlike some of the other wildlife in the area, which has struggled to reproduce due to the lingering effects of radiation, these resilient dogs have thrived. It's as if they've developed resilience to the very radiation that once ravaged their surroundings. Could it be that these wild dogs have mechanisms to resist the harmful effects of radiation? Perhaps even becoming more resistant to diseases like cancer? The implications are staggering, hinting at the incredible adaptability of life in the face of environmental challenges. In essence, the story of the dogs of Chernobyl is evidence to the resilience of nature, showcasing how life finds a way to not only survive, but thrive in even the most difficult environments. As the research opens up, it promises to shed further light on the remarkable tale of these resilient dogs. Taking the best of a catastrophic situation, and they're adorable. Number 12. Silhouettes of Missing Townspeople most people steer clear of areas affected by nuclear disasters. Some individuals possess a different perspective, one that sees opportunity in the face of danger. For a group of daring artists hailing from Germany and Belarus, the exclusion zone surrounding the Chernobyl disaster site became a canvas ripe for exploration. Ignoring the looming threat of deadly radiation, these artists entered into the forbidden territory, armed with nothing but cans of spray paint and a daring spirit. Their motivations remain covered in mystery. Perhaps they harbored a belief in the possibility of acquiring superhuman abilities or driven by a sense of artistic passion, they sought to leave their mark on a landscape infected by tragedy. Whatever the motivation, their secret adventure yielded a series of captivating works of art that now beautify the empty streets of Pripyat and its environs. Among the most striking creations, are the supernatural shadows that adorn the walls of Pripyat's abandoned buildings. These haunting figures illustrate scenes similar to the city's former inhabitants, frozen in time amidst the chaos of evacuation. Visitors who came to Pripyat describe these ghostly images as both mesmerizing and unsettling, their presence bringing a sense of sorrow and wonder. Indeed, the photographs capture only a fraction of the unreal atmosphere that spread through the abandoned city leaving one to wonder about the true extent of its powerful attraction. Number 11. Giant Catfish In the heart of Chernobyl, a community of huge catfish, known as the Paler 15, is flourishing in an environment shaped by the aftermath of a catastrophic nuclear incident. The cooling ponds, initially constructed to regulate the temperature of the Chernobyl nuclear reactors, have unexpectedly become home for underwater life, promoting a rich ecosystem untouched by human interference. Due to the absence of fishing activity and food supply, the catfish in these ponds have disobeyed expectations, with some individuals reaching lengths of over two meters. The cooling ponds, once a symbol of industrial infrastructure, have transformed into safe havens where catfish can grow to unthinkable sizes. The lack of human activity, driven by concerns about radiation, has created an environment where these massive catfish can thrive without the usual pressures from sharks. 
Their remarkable size underscores the resilience of life in the face of challenges. Feasting on an abundance of catch, such as smaller fish and invertebrates, these catfish have capitalized on the plentiful resources in the ponds. Unlike in natural habitats where human actions often restrict species growth, here in the abandoned areas of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, nature has reclaimed its territory, allowing the catfish to reach sizes rarely seen elsewhere. <laughs> Number 10. Deformed Animal Babies Deformed animal babies like the skull with swollen eyes and a strange-shaped jaw have sparked curiosity and concern among observers. Some suggest that such abnormalities may have occurred due to the aftermath of the Chernobyl accident, which led to an increase in unusual traits among animals in the late 1980s and early 1990s. During this period, farmers reported a rush in deformities, possibly linked to the radiation leaking from the protective structure surrounding the nuclear core. Around 400 animals, including cattle and pigs, were born with severe abnormalities, such as facial irregularities, extra body parts, unusual birth, and smaller sizes. Tragically, their lifespan was limited to just a few hours, highlighting the devastating impact of genetic change caused by radiation exposure. Furthermore, Cows exposed to fallout and fed with radioactive feed produced milk with radioactive properties, adding to the concerns about the long-term effects of the disaster on the environment and livestock. While some attribute the appearance of deformed animals to the Chernobyl accident, others claim that such anomalies are not exclusive to that event. For instance, there are reports of a horse-camel hybrid born in Romania in 2014, which bears a striking resemblance to the deformed skull in question. Number 9. Gas Masks Gas masks are scattered throughout the abandoned buildings of Pripyat, serving as reminders of the city's tragic past. In one particular room in a school, the floor is littered with piles of these protective devices, left behind by looters who scavenged for valuable materials like silver in the mask filters. The sight of these gas masks is unsettling, showing images of a disastrous landscape that must have felt all too real for the residents of Pripyat, especially the young children who experienced the horror firsthand. What adds to the mystery is the fact that these gas masks were never used, despite being trained just a week before the Chernobyl disaster on how to use them in case of an emergency. Residents were instructed not to use the masks during the evacuation. The Communist Party leadership feared that the use of gas masks would inspire panic among the people and opted instead to downplay the severity of the situation. This decision, aimed at preserving an appearance of control, ultimately left residents at risk to the invisible threat of radiation. The presence of these unused gas masks serves as a reminder of the human cost of the Chernobyl disaster. It highlights the official mismanagement and disregard for public safety that characterized the response to the crisis. Despite being equipped with the means to protect themselves, the residents of Pripyat were left defenseless in the face of a catastrophe that would go down in history as the worst nuclear disaster the world had ever seen. Our children were taught how to use gas masks. And you were taught as well? Of course. I'm old man, you know. Number eight. Tourists. The tourism industry in Chernobyl is experiencing a surge in popularity, with an estimated 80,000 individuals visiting the exclusion zone in Ukraine in 2023 alone, according to government records. Tourists are drawn to the area's unique history and unnatural atmosphere as they explore the radiation-free zones equipped with Geiger counters to ensure their safety. Many souvenir shops cater to these visitors, offering items like fridge magnets and t-shirts decorated with Chernobyl-themed designs. Some adventurous souls even opt to spend the night in the shadow of the infamous nuclear disaster site, paying extra for the experience. However, not everyone is enthusiastic about the rush of tourists. Locals and historians express concerns about the dark memories associated with Chernobyl, which remains a touching reminder of the worst nuclear disaster in human history. Despite these reservations, the tourism industry continues to thrive, attracting curious travelers from around the world. To regulate the flow of visitors, access to the exclusion zone is restricted to escorted tours, with travelers required to pass through checkpoints where radiation levels are monitored. 
Interestingly, despite the fears surrounding radiation exposure, tourists are reassured that their visit to Chernobyl poses less risk than a typical international flight. According to reports from travelers interviewed by news outlets like Newsweek, the radiation exposure in Chernobyl is actually lower than what one would experience during air travel. Number the fact that people are coming in here, touching things, taking things, is kind of frightening. 7. Chernobyl Frogs Following the Chernobyl disaster, the effects of radiation on wildlife within the exclusion zone have intrigued scientists and researchers from around the world. In addition to the well-documented cases of insects and other animals, such as the famous Chernobyl elephant's foot fungus, the adaptation of frogs in the area provides further evidence of nature's resilience in the face of adversity. The Hyla orientalis tree frog, native to the Pripyat region, has historically exhibited a vibrant green color, blending seamlessly with its rich surroundings. However, in the aftermath of the nuclear catastrophe, a noticeable shift in their appearance has been observed. These once green frogs now boast a darker color, a consequence of their body's increased production of melanin. Melanin serves as a natural defense mechanism against the harmful effects of radiation, absorbing and neutralizing ion particles before they can cause cellular damage. This evolutionary response highlights the remarkable adaptability of organisms subjected to extreme environmental pressures. Despite the lingering presence of radiation, these resilient frogs have managed to thrive in their habitat. Furthermore, studies conducted by scientists like Pablo Baracco and German Arala have shed light on the broader ecological changes occurring within the exclusion zone. From shifts in biodiversity to the establishment of new ecological openings, Chernobyl has become a unique laboratory for studying the long-term effects of radiation exposure on wildlife. As researchers continue to unravel the mysteries of Chernobyl's ecosystems, they gain invaluable insights into the resilience of life itself in the most challenging of environments. Number 6. A Bunch of Old Ladies After the Chernobyl accident, the Soviet government evacuated around 116,000 people from the affected areas, relocating them to apartments outside the exclusion zone. However, some residents of smaller villages chose to stay behind. Having endured the hardships of Joseph Stalin's regime and the Nazi occupation during World War II, they were not easily intimidated by an unseen danger. Despite government objections, many of these resilient individuals returned to their homes within a few months or years. These courageous souls, known as self-settlers, defied official warnings and chose to rebuild their lives within the exclusion zone. Remarkably, about 1,002 of them mainly elderly individuals over the age of 48, resettled in the months and years following the disaster. Today, a small fraction of these self-settlers, primarily women, continue to inhabit the area. These grandmothers, having been warned countless times about the risks of radiation exposure, are fully aware of the danger. Yet they persist in cultivating the contaminated soil, growing their own food, and raising livestock such as chickens and hogs. Their resilience and stubborn determination are proof of their tireless spirit and refusal to be intimidated by misfortune. Perhaps it's their indomitable will and sheer toughness that allows them to defy the challenges and continue living in a place deemed bad by many. Now it's time for today's subscribers pick. In the heart of the abandoned city of Pripyat, where time stood still in between the high disintegration of Chernobyl's nuclear catastrophe, whispers of the past still lingered. The once bustling metropolis now lay frozen in a haunting silence, evidence to the terror that happened decades ago. But within the shadows of decay, the true horrors of Chernobyl awaited those brave enough, or foolish enough, to venture into its depths. As darkness descended upon the ruined landscape, a group of daring explorers, drawn by various curiosities, ventured into the Forbidden Zone. Among them was Alexei, a seasoned urban explorer with a love for the horrible things, and his companions, each seeking to uncover the mysteries that lay hidden within the ghost town. Their journey began at the collapsed remnants of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, where the air hung heavy with the smell of decay. Amidst the rusted machinery and shattered concrete, they walked cautiously, 
mindful of the unseen dangers lurking in the shadows. But it wasn't the abandoned structures that sent shivers down their spines. It was the strange sense of being watched, as if the spirits of the past were silently observing their every move. Descending into the depths of the plant's wandering tunnels, they stumbled upon rooms concealed in darkness, their walls decorated with faded propaganda posters and mysterious symbols. As they delved deeper, the temperature decreased, and an icy chill gripped their bones, despite the oppressive heat outside. How did the atmosphere and surroundings contribute to the sense of fear and unease experienced by the explorers? What were some of the most chilling discoveries made by the explorers as they journeyed through Chernobyl? Which one of these 20 scariest things in Chernobyl do you find captivating? Share your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Wolves with Curly Tails In the supernatural landscape of the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, a curious phenomenon captured the attention of researchers and wildlife enthusiasts alike. Wolves with Curly Tails these difficult-to-track-down inhabitants of the zone have begun to display mysteriously curled tails, adding to their otherworldly attraction. While the exact cause of this unique trait remains uncertain, scientists believe it may be a result of a combination of genetic factors and adaptations to the harsh environmental conditions of the zone. Unlike their straight-tailed counterparts, the wolves of Chernobyl boast distinctive curls in their tails, lending them an enchanting charm. The origins of this peculiar feature are still being investigated, with some theories suggesting specific gene variations or unique genetic traits within the population of the exclusion zone. Beyond genetics, the curled tails could also offer practical advantages for survival in the challenging habitat of Chernobyl. In the harsh winters of the region, where snow blankets the landscape for much of the year, the curled tails may provide the wolves with enhanced balance and agility. This natural adaptation could help them navigate the uneven and icy terrain, ensuring their ability to pursue their catch effectively in the unforgiving winter landscape. Number 4. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Sign In the wild landscape of the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, there stands a simple yet significant symbol, the Exclusion Zone Sign. This weathered marker, worn down by the passage of time, stands at the boundaries of the zone, serving as a crucial warning to anyone who dares to approach. Decorated with the unmistakable herb radiation symbol, the sign is a reminder of the danger that lurks beyond. Surrounding the sign are rusted gates and crumbling walls, signaling the transition from the familiar to the forbidden. These barriers mark the edge between safety and risk, describing the boundary where invisible threats from the nuclear catastrophe of 1986 still linger. The Exclusion Zone sign serves as a tangible reminder of the ongoing dangers of radiation exposure. It warns of the potential consequences of crossing into areas contaminated by radioactive poison, where the invisible danger of nuclear disaster is very much real. Despite the clear warnings, some individuals disregard the dangers and venture into the Forbidden Zone. Arts and other signs of human activity can be found within the area, despite the inherent risks. While some may choose to ignore the warnings, the Exclusion Zone sign remains a steadfast symbol of the enduring consequences of nuclear disaster. Number 3. Laughter in the Night Laughter in the Night was written by a user who has since deleted their account. In the post, the user recounts an unnatural experience from a recent trip to Chernobyl. The user and a few friends decided to explore the heart of the Exclusion Zone venturing into the darkness of night for added excitement. After exploring Pripyat during the day, they found themselves near the infamous Ferris wheel, which already gave those scared in the nighttime. However, what happened next was truly unforgettable. While hanging around the Ferris wheel, the user heard faint laughter in the distance, as if children were playing nearby. Everyone went silent, shocked by the unexpected sound. One of the friends suggested following the laughter, despite some reluctance. Intrigued, they all agreed and began to follow the sound. As they approached, they realized the laughter was coming from inside an abandoned school. Suddenly, the laughter ceased as suddenly as it had begun, leaving them shocked and frightened. They quickly fled from the scene, overcome with fear. To this day, they cannot explain what they heard that night. 
Number 2. The largest object ever moved by human. The nuclear power plant itself may not have the same emotional terror as stumbling upon a vacant plastic doll peering out from behind a shattered window. Yet, from a rational perspective, it is undoubtedly the most fearsome aspect of the exclusion zone. For years, the only barrier shielding the world from the disastrous aftermath of the failed fourth atomic reactor was the Big Coffin. This massive structure, constructed from 14 million cubic feet of concrete and over 8,000 tons of metal, stood as a proof to the catastrophic events of April 1986. Workers tasked with assembling the original coffin toiled in shifts lasting mere minutes, as extended exposure to radiation would have meant certain death, even though a slow and agonizing one. Unfortunately, the original coffin proved inadequate in containing the radiation, leading to the emergence of transforming farm animals in the years following the disaster. It wasn't until two decades later that engineers devised a more effective solution. The construction of the new coffin was a massive undertaking, requiring the coordination of 18 ships and 2,005 trucks to transport its various components from Italy to Chernobyl. Finally completed in November 2016, the new coffin now stands as a towering symbol of resilience and progress. However, its presence has disappointed some visitors who had hoped to explore the older, less secure version of the casket in search of unnatural photo opportunities. Number 1. Birds with Extra Toes In the aftermath of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, the once thriving ecosystem around the power plant underwent significant changes. While many species faced challenges due to radiation exposure, some exhibited remarkable resilience and even adapted in unexpected ways. Among these adaptations, the occurrence of birds with extra toes stands out as a curious phenomenon. Studies conducted in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have revealed that certain bird species, including sparrows, swallows, and blackbirds, exhibit this unusual trait. Rather than the typical configuration of three forward-facing toes and one backward-facing toe, these birds may possess an additional toe nestled alongside the others. This abnormality, while striking, is not entirely uncommon in the natural world. The presence of extra toes in birds is thought to be primarily attributed to radiation-induced transformation. However, the appearance of this change does not necessarily indicate widespread genetic instability within bird populations. Instead, they seem to occur rarely and are not uniformly distributed across species or individuals. Despite the potential negative effects of radiation exposure, some wildlife populations in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have demonstrated surprising resilience. Beyond the presence of extra toes, researchers have observed other adaptive behaviors and physiological changes in birds and other animals living in the area. These adaptations highlight the remarkable ability of wildlife to endure and even thrive in challenging environments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.